Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Biology Notes. Today I will discuss gluconeogenesis from glycerol, amino acids and its significance. In this diagram, I have shown how glucose is formed from glycerol. This process occurs in the hepatic and renal cytosol. Glycerokinase enzyme uses ATP and phosphorylates glycerol to glycerol 3-phosphate. Cytoplasmic enzyme glycerol 3-phosphate dehydrogenase oxidizes glycerol 3-phosphate to dihydroxyacetone phosphate. In this reaction, NAD plus acts as electron acceptor. Aldolase B then condenses dihydroxyacetone phosphate with glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate to form fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. Fructose 1,6-bisphosphate then converts into fructose 6-phosphate by fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase enzyme. Phosphohexose isomerase converts fructose 6-phosphate to glucose 6-phosphate. Finally, glucose 6-phosphatase enzyme converts glucose 6-phosphate to glucose molecules. In this diagram, I have shown gluconeogenesis from amino acids. Except leucine and lysine, most amino acids by losing their amino groups can form gluconeogenic intermediates. This mechanism predominates during catabolysis, fasting, starvation, etc. Arginine, proline, histidine can convert into glutamate. Alpha-ketoglutarate is formed from glutamate. Succinyl-CoA can form from valine, isoleucine, methionine, threonine. Fumarate can form from aspartate, phenylalanine, tyrosine. Now, alpha-ketoglutarate, succinyl-CoA, fumarate are converted to malate through the TCA cycle in mitochondria. Pyruvate formed from alanine, glycine, threonine, cysteine, serine, tryptophan. This pyruvate can convert it to oxaloacetate and also to acetyl-CoA. Oxaloacetate can also be formed from aspartate and asparagine. Tryptophan, tyrosine, phenylalanine, threonine, isoleucine can convert to acetyl-CoA which then enter into TCA cycle. In mitochondria, Oxaloacetate is then changed to either malate or phosphoenol pyruvate. Malate and phosphoenol pyruvate are transferred to the cytosol and changed to glucose. Significance of gluconeogenesis It maintains the liver glycogen and a steady basal level of the blood sugar during starvation for supplying glucose to the brain, kidneys, erythrocytes, and muscles. It removes the products of the metabolism of other tissues from the blood and recycles them as carbohydrates. This process ensures a steady supply of the prime respiratory substrate, glucose, for erythrocytes and the nervous system. So this is all about gluconeogenesis from glycerol, amino acids and its significance. If you have any query, please comment, share the video if you like, subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos, stay with us, keep watching, thank you.